Hi, I'm Peter Bodnarod, Senior Instructor with the International Sommelier Guild, and today we're going to taste a white wine. This is a white wine from Bordeaux, France, and as a result it is a blend of primarily Sauvignon Blanc plus two secondary varieties, one called Semillon, which we don't talk about it to any great extent in this, in this program, and a, an even less important white grape variety called Muscadel. Uh, these three grapes tend to make the vast majority of wines in the Bordeaux region of France, in southwestern France. This particular one is a little bit unusual. Uh, it's the R of Rue Sec, and it's a 2007 vintage. Now, what's significant about that, you ask? Well, Rio Sec is one of the top producers of sweet Bordeaux wines, botrytis-affected wines from Sauternes. And uh, that's really what they're well known for, that's their reputation. But there's been a trend in the last several years for top uh, Sauternes producers to produce also dry wines. It's not unlike the trend that we see in the Douro Valley of Portugal, where very famous port houses are actually producing high-quality dry table wines now. So. R of Rieu Sec, 2007 vintage, and the appellation is Bordeaux Blanc Sec. And here we go. Um, the color, I'll hold the glass up so you get a little bit of a sense of things. Here we have quite a, a pronounced color. Um, not surprisingly, this is a five-year-old wine, and it probably uh, gets color from a little bit of that bottle age, but will also experience a little bit of maturation um, and color from the actual source of the fruit and the, the winemaking process. Um, a little bit of barrel contact to oxidize the wine ever so slightly and help to develop some of those um, deep, uh, deep yellow tones or pale gold tones even. It's bright, uh, it still has some nice flecks of bright yellow, um, but overall the hue is a medium intensity uh, or deep intensity of yellow. Some might even go as far as saying it's a pale gold color, sort of a 10 karat gold color. Viscosity seems average, nothing to really make note of, and I'm not seeing any sediment whatsoever or anything else to comment on. In the nose, I have a healthy wine, a clean nose, um, medium intensity uh, with, uh, with youthful smells, uh, but developing smells. I still get lots of lovely youthful sort of cut herb aromas that are quite common for Sauvignon Blanc. A little bit of um, some of the hard tree fruits, maybe a bit of uh, yellow apple. A little bit of yellow grapefruit. Um, that's the sort of citrus characteristic I'm getting. And really pleasant, strong, actually, sort of flinty minerality in the background, um, which doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, good sites throughout Bordeaux uh, for white wines have a preponderance of pebbly um, soils, uh, and uh, this one is no exception, and in fact, really has a wonderful flinty um, crush rock aromatic almost to it, or river rock aromatic. Crazy tasting notes, I know. Sometimes they sound a little bit unusual, but we just sort of have to, you know, say what we think and think what we think. Okay. I think that's pretty much all I'm getting for now. We'll come back to the nose uh, at the end of the tasting. On the palate. Mm. Lovely. A wine that over delivers on the palate, even though the nose was a bit shy. Um, loads of wonderful flavor on the palate here. It's dry, but it's not sharp. It is a little softer because of the, the little bit of bottle age that's happened here and the quality of the fruit at harvest. Um, so I would say dry, but I, I do get a fairly uh, um, a pronounced flavor of fruit and even a slightly honeyed character going on here right now. Um, acidity is balanced, somewhere in the middle, medium, no tannins. I would say it's a medium to medium full body, although I probably would stay in the medium from a note-taking standpoint because even though it seems quite fleshy and robust and round uh, on impact, 
as the wine uh, as the wine disappears it fades quite quickly and, and actually becomes a little more on the lighter fresher side so I think medium body is fair medium alcohol and um, a really nice pink not so much pink actually yellow grapefruit as I got in the nose pear compote a little bit tiny tiny bit of honey perhaps a little bit of a flavor of, of beeswax not that I eat beeswax very often but sometimes when you smell uh, a beeswax candle the retronasal thing happens and some of the smells turn into a little bit of a residual, residual flavor on, on the palate. I think this is a wine with, with huge potential. I think right now it's quite young and it's a bit shy as a result but because of the density of the fruit and the real lovely lush uh, flavors and, and weight of this wine on impact, I think there's a great wine yet to come. It just needs a little bit more time. So I'm going to say this is a good to very good wine. I think that this is a wine I would expect to pay um, probably in the low 30s for or high 20s at least again depending on the market and I would say uh, a wine that's enjoyable now but if I can be patient for another two to three years I probably have something really special coming excellent with uh, you know white fish um, some of the, the the more fatty deep sea fishes um, things like turbot come to mind monkfish uh, cream sauces, mushroom, lemon, citrus notes, green herbs notes, um, all really wonderful. Things like tarragon, chive uh, would all work beautifully with this. And uh, certainly there's some nice creamy cow's milk cheeses and even possibly some young, fresh, uh, creamy goat's milk cheeses that would do really well with this wine as well. So there you have it. Um, R of Rio Sec 2007. Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon and Muscadel from Bordeaux, France.